Yo, what's going on everybody? Well, today is the day. It is the All Blacks versus the Barbarians. And it's the game that I have been looking forward to the most. I have not been to an international game since February. And that was England versus Scotland in the RBS Six Nations. Uh, New Zealand has always been a big team and a massive country that I have always loved and supported in Rugby Union. They are now three times world champions back to back in the last two World Cups. The first ever nation to win triple World Cups and two back to back. The last one in New Zealand and this one in England. 2015 the last World Cup win. The Barbars are meeting them at the home of English Rugby Twickenham Stadium and this is the game that I have totally been waiting for. I have ordered these tickets all far, far, far back in the summer, which feels like ages ago over here in England. Now we're hitting autumn and the winter months. This is the start of the autumn internationals. Next week or the following week will be the start. England take back to Twickenham and start off their autumn campaigns to finish off their season of the rugby union. I have my two shirts right here. I have my Barbarian shirt and my New Zealand All Black shirt. Who do I, which one do I wear? Who do I support? My ticket's right there on there. You have to find out when I get to Twickenham and see which shirt I'm going to be wearing. I'm in a massive conflict today as the most of the Barbar squad consists of and maintain most of former All Black players. This is going to be one interesting game in true Barbarians style and true Barbarians rugby being good fun rugby, kicking the ball, all good fun, loads of little skills. They are like the Harlem Globetrotters in basketball, but they're the version in rugby today. It's going to be one banging game and it's going to be the second time that I have seen the Barbars play. I see him play. Last year against South Africa at Wembley and oh my god that was one epic game and one game I am not going to forget for a long time. Some epic tries, epic runs. New Zealand, the last time I saw them was in the 2015 World Cup down at the Olympic Stadium against Nambia. And New Zealand something I've always wanted to watch because of the hacker mostly, the tradition of the hacker. The whole sense of the hacker as well, the culture of it, how the people of New Zealand feel connected to their land and their country. Through the hacker has always been something that has made me admire them and adore them for a long time now. And the first time I got to see it, it was a dream come true. I'd always wish to see it. That was the first time. Today will be the second time I've seen the hacker, but the third time overall because last year... I went down to the Twickenham Stoop for Harlequins 150th year where they played the Maui All Blacks and got absolutely chanced because the Mauis are just on fire. They are a lit team and this is going to be one belter of a game. I can't wait to get down to Twickenham and I will catch you guys either on the journey down there or going into Twickenham Stadium itself. Catch ya. Oh my god, that was so much chaos, just trying to get here, I'm now, I'm way out of Twickenham Stadium now, it's not too far away, so, man it's kicking off there but, hey, rugby fans, anything can happen, especially at Twickenham, but as I was saying, a little bit of story time with Haida, basically, I come out of the house, I picked everything up, all my portable charges, my phone, my Oyster card, my bag, extra jacket and stuff. And in true pride uh, of style and fashion, basically forgot my ticket. I got down to London Waterloo Station and basically had to run with that three bus stops all the way back home and catch another bus shoot back home, try and phone co my dad to meet him, to bring my ticket up to the bus stop, to run across the road, catch another bus, just to get down here, just to get to Twickenham. 
Which, oh, sorry, right kids. Do not ever forget your ticket <laughs> and try and go to a rugby game because it's more than likely you would not be let in. Also, I'm going to give you a second now to take in. Spectacular sight. No, to Wickham Stadium, no, right behind me right there, it's a wonderful stadium, beautiful place to go and it is like my second home, it's a home away from home for me, if I'm not anywhere else, I'm either at Alliance Park for Saris or not Twickenham for a Premiership game. God, what a test match that was. The Barbarians came out belting in that game. And they truly put New Zealand under the cosh, going 17 to 5 up within the first 20 to 30 minutes of the game. It was a truly excellent and brilliant game. New Zealand came back to win the game 31 to 22 on the other hand though but New Zealand have this thing in the second half where they come out all guns fired all guns raising and they come back to full on win that game against the Barbas in a slower second half but New Zealand had the full control in that second bringing in the extra three tries to win that game but the first three tries stuck in by the Barbas which is truly amazing. Still, not so much front play as in credit of what the Barbaros normally do in an old fashion, but still well worked, excellent, brilliant tries against a very tough all back side, which is more or less their second team. But still, nonetheless, the Barbaros still put a fantastic account of themselves against the all backs in a truly magnificent game of rugby down here at Twickenham. We had 62,000 people down here watching the game. Good, New Zealand taking the Carrot Cup and with that going on to victory here, going into the Autumn Internationals where they go against Wales and a couple of other tough competitors that I haven't yes, For those who did not notice, in the first part of the clips, when I was heading down to the stadium, I am in my New Zealand All Black shirt, so I decided to go for the All Black to win this game. So, hey all, it's going to be a win win anyway, no matter what, because it was the only All Blacks versus the All Blacks anyway. Most of the Barbaros were New Zealanders, so, matter of fact, it was only going to be one win at the end of the day, but 
and that's going to be New Zealand. The mains have all 15 All Blacks, but still, epic game, epic day by by all. I'm gonna f well find some food because I'm starving, and I'll get back to you then. been I finally got back to my local park after waiting for about 45 minutes just to try and get a train back from the middle of 62,000 people at Twickenham Stadium so I'm finally back in South London from West and I'm getting ready now to go back down to North London tomorrow so more than less than 24 hours I'm down in North London then for the Saracens game where they're taking on their local rivals from West London, right next door to where I was today, the Twickenham Stoop, Harlequins, in the LV Cup first round group stage game. It's bound to be another good game and day of rugby. And it's another day of rugby for me. That's two days on the trot right there. I'm so looking forward to getting a second day out. It's probably not going to beat today's game, Bar Bar's New Zealand, but, well, what will, you know? That was an amazing game. If you didn't see it, I recommend you catch it either on Catch Up, through Sky Sports, or definitely YouTube that game later on. Oh my God, you got to be so surprised by that. It's been a long day. It's been mad. Try to rush back and forth. I got down to Waterloo earlier today on the way to the game. I found that I had forgotten, forgot, I, can you believe it, I forgot my ticket. So I had to jump another bus to get back home. Anyways, I've explained all that already. It's been a mad rush, some crazy day. And tomorrow I will not be forgetting my ticket because tomorrow's game is on my season ticket, which sits happy in my wallet with all the other cards and other business. So I cannot forget that, and unless I forget my wallet, how much of a plonker can I be to forget that tomorrow? I will be looking forward to that game, and I'll catch you guys after I've eaten, because, funny enough, I still haven't eaten yet, so as soon as I get in, I've got my pizza getting ready, so I'll have my pizza, I'll pop my pizza down, and then finally that will be a meal in me since breakfast this morning, after doing my 5k run. <laughs> So, basically no food, it's a cold day in London as well, so go get some food, try and warm up a bit. And then I'll, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, as ever, leave them thumbs up in support of my videos and my channel. And also subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Thank you for watching.